Welcome, guys. So this is again a one of a kind of interview. Here in front of me sits uh, Dr. Harjot Singh, who secured uh, rank one in hepatology. Now, rank one in hepatology is brilliant because there's only one seat that is there in the entire country, and that he's managed to bag. That's that's a that's a brilliant achievement, and it's not an easy task at all. It's it's great. Now, Thank first you. of all, let me congratulate Dr. Harjot. Congratulations, Harjot. The great achievement from. From me Thank and you. from the whole faculty team and the team, great job. So we are all excited to hear your story. And uh, without too much of wasting of anybody's time, let me ask you: Can you please tell us your journey till here? Uh, I done my MBBS from Punjab Institute of Medical Sciences, Jalandhar. I completed MBBS in the year 2017, and I took one year for the NEET PG preparation. Then I secured a rank. uh if uh, and i got a got a seat in md medicine in nmch patna uh so during the in a pg course during the ending of the second and the starting of the third year actually i developed interest in the gastroenterology and hepatology part but there in our college there was no hepatology separate unit there was a gastroenterology like most of the medical colleges in india they have a gastroenterology unit so i developed more interest in the liver gallbladder pancreas and the problems related to that and uh, uh after completing my md in the in in the year 2021 november i joined as a senior residence in the G government medical college patiala for one year i worked uh, i worked as a senior resident in general medicine department and that during that time also i was uh, like in the gastroenterology unit only uh, that dr ashish bhagat was there so i was with him so after that i managed to get till that time i was not <laughs> very much uh, like i l go for dm and i was not very sure but i have interest in gastroenterology but i was not very sure so uh, so that time i prepared for the uh, that like pgi has one entrance exam for the senior residents i gave up that entrance exam and uh, in that entrance exam i selected hepatology as an uh, then i joined hepatology as a non dm sr in the year 2023 january so i worked there in the hepatology department for 10 months in the pgi there the thing is there the i specifically i develop interest in the hepatology thing so sir, one uh, one year okay that is great actually i always tell i always tell with respect to interviews even though there are a lot of common factors with all the toppers each interview is unique which is uh, which is actually aptly demonstrated here so oh, so everybody would say that see i actually a certain person would have developed the intent the clarity of what they want so the, most of them will i i had the clarity like around in second year of md or third year of md and from there i just struggled and you know i studied everything and but for you i understood that you had not had that clarity but good thing what you did was you actually found your clarity yes. so even though there is a lot of common factors this is a very subtle difference but a very important difference which brings us back to the first and the only point first thing is uh, you have to have a clear vision of what you want now you got that clear vision and that is how that is probably what prompted you to try this much and uh, achieve this feat na na yes sir so, so basically uh, i would say to all our uh, all our viewers that this specific uh, time of clarity may differ from different people but you have to be sure at what you want that is very important you yes. can't uh, uh, as in especially for dm especially for dm what happens is you are you are you have to practice this for your rest of your rest of your life so you have to be clear about what you want only if you are clear of what you want will you put the effort to achieve what you want, what you need what you get so that is a very important point that uh, i'm very happy that you brought it out because most of them say you know i was very interested in gastro by second year third year that is not what the case was very interested in completely focused but you took your time to get the focus and that is great so how was working as uh, in in, uh, in pgi as a non a non dmsr help Uh, sir, uh, working like in PGI in a premium institutes, like uh, we have a lot of cases which usually we won't see in the uh, state colleges, state government colleges. Uh, so a lot of exposure of uh, specific cases 
like few like we have a lot of exposure of like autoimmune hepatitis but cherry a lot of cases were there and and uh, like uh, in with these cases actually there was a regular schedule of uh, uh, there is a case discussions general clubs and usually which we lag in the uh, state colleges there was a lot every week there have grand rounds uh, case discussions uh, and then general clubs are there where recent guidelines and everything that actually the thing the uh, that things actually helped me a lot in my preparation for the uh, INASS exam sir and uh, the uh, the second part which uh, they are actually the more of the clinical discussions the more of the clinical discussions in the round that is that was very helpful during my uh, preparation for the INASS exam oh wonderful so uh, i mean everybody would think that uh, working at a non dmsr and pj would be very hectic and you wouldn't have had time to study at all so how did you manage to study and how what how did you manage how what actually, was sir, uh, uh, sir during the grand rounds actually we have a uh, they ask a lot of questions a lot of uh, things and during the uh, like general general club also a lot of new things we study actually before the uh, presenting the general club we have to read complete about that article and about that topic that that things like every week you have to read one topic i think so they, if you read every week one topic specifically and recent guidelines of that topic that is also very helpful and in the grand rounds we have a lot of questions uh, usually the consultants ask, ask a lot of questions like that questions usually i noted down in the uh, noted down and then go back and study from the from a textbooks if whichever textbooks like selzinger uh, we are using well, hepatology part that 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 is very helpful actually those things okay and uh, uh, so how about how about uh, how about the online resources like maro how do you how do you think that helped you uh, sir actually i had taken maro in the month of june july actually i had taken maro for specifically for the neat ss preparation for the general medicine preparation uh, that helped me during the neat ss 2023 exam i secured a rank uh, there and i got gastroenterology dr and bc uh, sir uh, but actually the thing was uh, i from the first day i wanted dmc and i after working in the pga like uh, my dream was there to get into the hepatology only uh, so uh, sir the thing is that, that i think so that neat ss preparation medicine preparation and the specifically the medic, uh, gastro and hepatology notes that was very helpful during the during my ini ss preparation also actually for the neat ss i have read it twice for the ini ss i have read it four or five times reading the same thing multiple times that is very helpful so you feel that the concept are you comfortable with the concepts that were present or you are comfortable with the one liners that you put showing obviously the exam pattern was not really one liner they were all actually concept based questions right so yes. the grand rounds in pgi as well as the the notes here that help you yes. build a concept and from there you could yes, actually sir. this way that way how the questions could come yes sir actually the basic concepts which uh, which we study from the like uh, the gastro videos which you have done the basic concept that is cleared with that actually the thing is in grand rounds they usually ask advanced questions usually for the dm oh. people they uh -huh. ask so added to that that was helpful and adding recent advances from the general clubs and every week that is helpful and reading at the thing in the end you have to mark the questions also you have to do the questions and for that selsinger selsinger review i have read that for the question part and uh, for the gastro question part uh, maro ss uh, that uh, mcq bank that was also very helpful so what do you what do you think what question question or uh, do you think that is not very relevant uh, sir actually for the neat ss preparation i have given the grand tests but for the ini ss i haven't given uh, the grand test actually uh, uh, but for neat ss uh, i think so grand test and giving grand test is very helpful because in usually in that that makes you the time bound to the question like you can't spend more than that time that time frame for that question so doing grand test mcq doing mcq doing grand test is very important part for the preparation great great, great. that's wonderful actually uh, so you, i think you have given us a good outline so how how many hours would you 
again pgi don dm resident lot of work yes, how many hours would you have put in per day uh, sir i can say that uh, maximum you can take 2 to 3 hours maximum 3 hours <laughs> that is like that spare time you can have because in pgi the work workload is very high yes and <laughs> Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> so i think so maximum 2 to 3 years but the thing is what you learn in the boards what you learn in the icus what will you learn in the liver icu transplant icu actually that is more important because uh, the thing is you are seeing the patient there and you are like uh, the features clinical features symptoms signs and symptoms you are seeing of the patient that is more helpful because i think so super specialization preparation only sitting and doing preparation just leaving everything that is not because you have to see the patient you have to apply that thing and then you have to go back to the home and read that thing correct like this is success is roots they all these different roots and each or each on its own that's actually yes. wonderful actually again it's a very different perspective on uh, the take it's brilliant and uh, i believe uh, i think we have covered up pretty much quite a bit on how you have managed to do this right do you want yes. what do you advise to the people who are going to come come next as in next year or your juniors what do you have to give to them uh sir uh, like <laughs> the first advice i will give that actually i choose the brand, like my interest came in the third year so it is better yes. if they develop mm-hmm. the interest earlier because now everyone who is doing medicine and surgery they are going for the super specialization that is a must thing now so get having interest in the like in the first year uh, first year onwards if they develop an interest that is good and the thing is during the res- residency itself they can like focus on that thing and uh, the other thing is they have to add the recent things recent advances if they if the people the Uh, next people they add the recent advances to everything from the from the residency period also only na then they will and they develop the clinical clinical expertise from that uh, from the residency itself that will be better actually i have i think i have was little late because i it took me to be it, it is more important to get clarity i think yes without yes, clarity sir. if you are not this got this clarity you will not be sitting here like this that's a difficult yes, story that's the most the important thing is clear about the goals you want to achieve and only you will be able to figure it out yes just sitting and reading that is not helpful you have to have a for the super specialization you have to have a clinical touch that is very important you have to practice on your patient also you have to learn from your patient also that is very important yeah that's uh, it's like i said you know, success has got multiple routes and uh, everybody has got their, their own ways of studying but i mean the fact that there is a different route there are multiple routes and that is that is even more inspiring it's very that very much inspiring actually how you have gone through this and done this but everybody is not very uh, how do you call it uh, very privileged to start uh, be a non dm sr in pgi of course a lot of other people have joined but they have not got right so yes. that also you have to take into consideration yeah. so anyway congratulations a great great job and like i said you know single seat is the only one seat that is there in the country and you crack back it great hats off to you yeah. great thank job arjun great job arjun and uh, all the best thank you sir